Now, chapter 6, democratic rights. We have discussed in the entire text, like from democratic government, then we have discussed what are the dreams or what we expect from the democratic governments or why we need a democratic government, designing of the constitution, knowing about the election procedure and finally the three main organs of the government we have discussed in the past five chapters. In this chapter, we will be discussing about the importance of the rights, how is life without rights, why do we need rights, what are our rights, who protects or who guards our rights. These are detailedly discussed in this chapter. Now, let us now find out an example how a life will be without rights. Life without rights. Let us see an example here which happened after 9-11 attacks in US in 2001. It was a prison which was set up by the US Navy, Guantanamo Bay. This Guantanamo Bay is a US detention center where all over the world nearly 600 prisoners are being imprisoned here which is located very close to the Cuban islands, Cuba region and here the authority is accessed by the US authorities. The Guantanamo Bay is a place where the severe atrocities have happened. The US forces have picked up the people from various corners of the world and pressurized them to know what is a mastermind behind the 9-11 attacks and in this process to know about the facts from them the US authorities have not even followed the international agreements which has to be met even with the war refugees the war criminals also cannot be tortured like this this came to light when Anna's father Jamil El Bana has been missing and they don't know where he was kept, where did he go, when he will come. They never know what happened to him. Is he alive or dead? It's a very pathetic situation. And moving on to understand here, the family members of Jamil El Bana, it's not only Jamil El Bana's story. We are discussing about the condition which happened for all the 600 prisoners who are being imprisoned in the US detention which was set up in the Gautanama Bay and they had seen a condition where the basic rights are also not being validated. The basic requirements are not fulfilled for them. Looking at the conditions, the prisoners started to protest. They went on hunger strikes for many days but no one cared about them. No one bothered about them. Only through the news channels, the family members of Jamil El Bana and the other members came to know, as Anna's came to know that her father has been imprisoned at a place called Gautanama Bay and there any media people, any lawyers, any government officials other than the US Navy officials are not allowed here. And the Amnesty International has brought to light how the people are suffering in the Gautanama Bay, the US detention, how they are being tortured and when the prisoners went on to the hunger strike, how passively the officials reacted without responding for them, without giving the basic requirements for them and they did not even follow the international treaties which are there for the prisoners or the war refugees, war prisoners nothing has been followed with the amnesty international bringing the issue into light the un has set up a special body to enquire whether this happened or not this happened it's a true it happened but the un also could not do anything us asked the us sorry un asked the us government to set or shut down the detention center and release all the prisoners free. Even some of the prisoners who are declared free officially are not left out. So the situation of the life becomes very difficult even to take breath 
when there are no rights this is a true example for that what is a mistake done by the 600 people who are happily living with their families in various corners of the world if a government has doubt on anyone they have to arrest them they have to produce them in front of any magistrate and they have to bring it to the notice of the public that so and so punishment has been given for so and so action done by the person here there are no trials no magistrate no laws has been followed everything has been restricted and life becomes miserable we don't know whether he will be alive or dead now let us now discuss about the other incident till now we have discussed about the gautanama bay incident which happened let us take that it's an exception where one country's rights are been denied by the other country even un requested us did not accept now moving on to understand the rights or no rights for the people in their own country where example saudi arabia ruled by a king the king comes to power on the hereditary basis the family rules the royal family rules one generation passes the father passes away automatically the son comes into the throne comes into the power so there is no power for the people the public to do in making a king king doesn't need people's support at any point of time king comes to power on the hereditary basis people are forced to accept the change of the power second appointed by the king the council of ministers the legislative members the judiciary members everybody whom the king feels he is fit and capable will be appointed so there is no choice or there is no criteria to say other than the king that this person is fit and fine and he can do suitable job whomever the king feels that is good can be appointed there is no democratic set up there it is truly on the decision of the king third one the media or the press cannot report whatever that is happening in the ground reality if there is any atrocity that is happening in any one of the officials home that cannot be reported if any other issue that is happening that cannot be reported it has to get the consent or the approval of the king anything or any issue reported against the king cannot be telecasted so there is a severe restriction and no freedom of press or media in saudi arabia the other point the people cannot form political organizations or political parties they are not given any rights to have political parties or political organizations or any associations 